This is a performance tutorial and how to make the $2 illusion. You'll need a $2 bill and two $1 bills. As crisp and fresh as you can get. You can get them at a bank. If you ask nice, they'll trade them in for some crumbly bills. And a roll of double stick tape. Also, it's helpful if you have something like this little table with a little edge on it. So when you do the folds, I'm gonna show you in a minute. You have a nice line that you can line them up on here. Make sure you set aside a reasonable amount of time. You're not going to make this in five minutes. There's three bills and each one requires three folds. Each of the three bills are going to be folded the exact same way. So once you do one, you do the other two the exact same way. Hold the bill in front of you like this. With your left hand, fold the bill around to meet like that. That's the first fold. You want to get that crease as close and perfect as you possibly can. So position your bill once you have the orientation of your fold. Position your bill and get it lined up as close as you can and get that crease right on the bill. So when you hold it up, you can see that the corners perfectly line up. All right, this is the first fold on one bill. I showed these in another video. Two plexiglass plates. I'll place the bill in between and use these clamps and clamp it in there for, I don't know, a minute or so. It gets that crease nice and flat. The next fold, all right, we have a nice fold in here. If you open it up, you can see the crease. This was the first fold. The second fold gets a little harder because you need to keep all these corners all aligned and the bill wants to shift a little when you do it. So the next fold, you have the bill, here's your first fold. The next fold is the same way, only in half again. Now this is, once you get your orientation in your fold, place it down here, get all your corners nice and lined up, keep pressure along here, and get this folded over and lined up as straight as possible and get that, that second crease in there. And it looks pretty straight. The first two folds of this bill are done. It looks pretty good. All the corners match up. The third fold is a little harder than the first two. Gets your orientation. That's the first fold. That's the second fold. That's the third fold. Now you can see there's four layers, so all the corners want to start separating. Push the edges right up against this and get that last fold. Trying to keep all your edges nice and straight and get that last crease in there. Force it. That looks pretty good. Cl 
clamp it in, leave it for a couple more minutes. This bill is done. It has all three folds. So when you open it up, it looks like this. There'll be eight little squares. That's the first fold, second fold, third fold. I have two of the one dollar bills are done. And I'm going to do this one. The next step, go ahead and open them up and get your double stick tape. And the $2 bill and one of the $1 bills are going to be taped together in a specific way I'm going to show you. The other dollar bill you can just set off to the side. The easiest way to show you how to tape these two bills together using double stick tape is when you hold the bill as if you're performing the trick. And I'm going to turn it around so you can see. It's the bottom right hand corner this square. There's eight squares if you follow all the creases. It's this bottom corner. Take the two dollar bill and find the same square on the back, the bottom right hand square as you'll be facing this way. Position both bills so they're facing down and right side up, meaning one is not upside down to the other. Take the two dollar bill and just turn it over and that's where you tape it. This is how they're going to go together. Now, there's no secret way to do this. It's a little time consuming. But you need to tape the square on the back of this bill to the square on the back of this bill. Cut a few pieces of double stick tape and line it along the edges of this square. Go as close as you can to the edge without going over. And just tape one bill and once that's in place, we'll tape the $2 bill to it. This is what it should look like when you're done. If you take the $2 bill and you fold it up, follow the folds, it should hide right behind the $1 bill in the lower corner, like that. So as you're holding it, you can even let go. And you should be able to do the same thing in reverse. If you were to hold the $2 bill and fold the one, and the $1 bill hides right in the lower right hand corner. Start off with the $2 bill folded, hiding behind the one. Take your extra bill and place it in front. So it's like this. And you have the two is right there. Go ahead and fold it up into this position. This is how you want to store it in this position, in your wallet or wherever you keep it. This is a great impromptu trick. You can carry it with you at all times. And when performing this, a good tip is to never ask someone if they want to see a trick. I mean, who wants to be tricked? Just get their attention. Um, I usually use the all-seeing eye pyramid on the back, you know, the whole Illuminati thing. Ah. And it gets their mind off of what you're about to do. Then say, did you know that if you fold them a certain way, they'll blend into one bill? And then they can split apart again? Did you know that? As you're performing the trick.
This is the way you start out. I'm going to show it from this side. This is the side you'll be looking at. Open it up. The first conceal is with these fingers right here. There's your $2. Put it just like that as you turn it around. You can't see it. And you're covering it with your fingers. And when you grab it again, peel this side around and then you can release and show the other side. So it's like this. That's the first move. Then you fold it. Fold it again. Take your thumb and pull this back. As you do that, you lower this. This is all one movement. Push this down and flip it around like that. And it'll reverse the order. Then you open up your $2 bill. And the same thing, This another conceal. You're going to bring the bill and hide the two ones behind those fingers as you hold it. You can't see them and bring it back this way. Once you get to here, you can release and spin it around. And then you do the same thing, you fold it, you fold it. Get your finger under there and flip it around and open it up. Now when I do the final showing, I bring the bills like this and this bill was in front. I bring the bills like this I switch fingers like I put my index finger here and I put this bill in the back. Now it's concealing the $2 bill. Now you can just turn it around, you can show the entire bill without hiding anything. Another good tip to remember is you can get your bills at a bank, but don't go back to the bank and perform the trick. I did this one time. The bank was very slow. The teller enjoyed it, but the bank manager lady, who was about half my age, snuck up to the left of me and was standing there with her arms firmly crossed, and she wasn't smiling. I was like, yes ma'am, no ma'am, so don't do it in a bank. Pay attention to your angles. Back up to a wall if you have to. Uh, so nobody's looking over your shoulder, obviously, you don't want that. Also, if you have like five or more people watching you, focus on performing for only one person and let the others feel as if they're just watching. Get the names of a couple of them, spot the person who is watching you very close and bring it to everyone's attention. Like, boy, Jim is eagle-eyeing me over there. These things will keep everyone's mind busy while you're performing. It's a form of crowd control. Anyway, thanks for watching.